So now that we kind of understand how Midas works and some of the magnetism scatter modules, it's going to be really awesome to look at the little cousin of Midas called Echo, which uh, doesn't need two layers. It only needs one. So we're going to, again, just create something kind of random uh, that hopefully just kind of shows the basics of how the tool can work. So what we'll do is create a little square on the screen. Uh, we'll pick some properties. And once again, this can be any kind of property, uh, but I don't want to get too complicated for right now. So we're going to work with just position and rotation and maybe scale. Uh, uh, so we'll select those three options again and we'll click echo uh, so that's all you need you just need one layer and uh, selected layers and then you can run echo and we're going to be able to set up basically an echo count so an echo count is like a perfect duplicate of whatever layer you have selected it could be a video file a picture an image whatever controllers uh, you could go nuts and, and find something cool and, and make a done bunch of copies from it so uh, once again you're gonna have the options like key comp and shy which were exactly what we went through over on the uh, Midas tool so for this one we'll kind of work with comp just to get an example of it and we'll set our count to something kind of low because there's some cool stuff that we can do after the fact and we'll run echo so this next screen we get is actually kind of a naming screen since we're creating a composition so we'll create this uh, name here we're gonna call this like dupe window uh, for some reason and we'll press enter and it's going to launch the tool all the way for us so now that we have this echo run we're not going to be able to see our children because they're perfect uh, duplicates basically um, in this composition called window dupe window children so we'll go and use uh, the property that we just went through um, called scatter to see these uh, children and what they're up to we'll go into our X range and turn this down and then turn our X range up we'll go and turn our Y range down and our Y range up and then we can go through the seed and see a ton of uh, little designs or if we don't love the design we can go in and just move this and it'll still work with the system in the same way so that's pretty sweet it's all relative, and once again, you can keyframe your children if you feel like doing that. Um, so there we go. We have this little scatter ecosystem. Uh, what's nice is even though I only created four copies, I could just duplicate the copies, and they're going to instantly be pushed into the Midas system and uh, get some of these values here. So I can scatter it, and, you know, they're not like uh, stupid duplicates. They're smart duplicates. So we'll turn this down just for the, this basic example. And we don't have any keyframes right now, even though we've created some content. So with Echo, it's really nice to be able to use your scatters in some cool ways. We'll go to the uh, scale scatter, enable this, and set some X ranges up. We'll do negative 90 to 90, negative 90 to 90. So if your properties are the same on your ranges, you're basically saying you want proportional changes. So you can go through your seed and see that our children are being randomly scaled um, in a relative way. So that's really Really nice too to get a kind of random system so to take this random system even farther we'll go into the scatter for our rotation and uh, just give some cool values to our children and uh, there we go this is a very nice um, little design for us so the next thing we can do with this echo is do some cool stuff with dynamics um, and you know all the other tools work with uh, echo in some really cool ways like vector and cloth but it's really hard to only do basics. So we're gonna try to stay with basics right now. So we'll just turn on our uh, dynamics for position and rotation. And you're gonna see that all of a sudden we have this pretty awesome little particle flock um, that we just built and basically no time and no keyframes. So you could keyframe this on top of the dynamics. You could keyframe your dynamics up or down. You could keyframe your delay. Uh, you could change your delay or you could change your drag. Uh, Exo Echo is a super, super flexible system that uh, has a ton of really, really cool uses that we'll be getting into down the road. So in this next one, we'll take a look at another tool.